This movie tells a story about a young woman who is courted and swept off her feet only to realize a gothic conspiracy is afoot. First of all, this movie is really unlucky as Sony Entertainment decided to literally give the entire future away with their trailer and preview, walking viewers through the whole plot and even the resolution of the story, exposing all of its twists and macabre touches. However, even with the plot carefully hidden from public, it doesn't magically make it a better film. The movie stumbling through the chiller, which plays a fairly rickety game of misdirection before it becomes ridiculous. There's a bit surprise in the end, but the effect is so relatively brief and left so underdeveloped. The movie starts off with a weak narrative and only gets worse as we wait through twists and revelations that ultimately are not particularly thrilling or well delivered. We get a movie that just keeps teasing us with the possibility that something of interest might eventually happen. That's the major frustration with this narrative. Apart from unsatisfying reveal, the build up to and mystery of it are not really interesting. Most of the main character's trip doesn't go much of anywhere since the family is welcoming and accommodating while their romance with the Lord never quite feels romantic. Natalie Emmanuel, who plays the main character, tries hard here to make something with the character and the hokey romance, but she cannot save the movie from its mediocrity. There are a few good things about this movie, like the atmosphere, set design, and costume, but it seems the movie was hoping audiences would be too distracted by them to notice the mediocre script. The movie really lacks of energy as it mostly plots along. There are long stretches of absolutely nothing that effectively destroy any momentum. The pacing problem combined with some clunky moments and dialogue making this movie lifeless. When it all goes south for the main character, scares do not follow, just some mediocre genre exploration with puzzling character choices. The horror on display is sorely lacking, do not expect much more than a few decent jump scares. Being at a place where the main character is the sole black person surrounded by white people, racial elements are not underplayed throughout the film, but the movie ultimately lets this angle fizzle to give away to some rather silly fight scenes. Overall, this movie is a disappointment. It's not really worth to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.